Hi everyone, this is Lucky Kermit and I'm here with my big Kylo Ren plush. Yes, of course you could have expect, uh, expected him because I just love this plush and um, I really would like to use him today for my haul because it's kind of a Star Wars The Force Awakens haul. <laughs> just one week before the movie uh, will be released. So it's just so, uh, so exciting and so, well... Um, well, yeah, exciting. There's like no other word for it. However, um, I'm going to show you some stuff that I have been collecting during the past few weeks. Uh, stuff that I found by coincidence and stuff that I found on the coast. Also, today I went to my local toy shop and also there I found something that I really would like to show you. Now, I'm going to start by showing you the lightsabers that I have been finding. Now, I just found two vintage models that don't that um, are not really um, merchandise of the Star Wars movie, movie itself. Uh, that's why they were pretty cheap too. But I used to collect every single lightsaber that I found on my way just for drawing also. So I'm um, going to show you these models first. The very short one that I found was just about 2 euros. And I found this little one. That's a very very short one as you can see. Um, I believe there are like three three colors available, green, pink, and blue. Or it is red, but I, I thought it was more like pink. And I think I have the pink one now. I never really liked the pink lightsaber. It's kind of stupid looking, but I didn't I didn't really notice uh, what this actually means. Uh, and actually, I found I found out. And now I'm pretty sure I have the pink one and as I can see there is a little pink lamp in there so I'm I suppose I'm supposed to remove this um, but I don't really know how it works also it's I'm not sure I can change batteries it was just extremely cheap and uh, it may it might be even possible that it doesn't even work so it doesn't really matter I don't really like the style of this hilt but I'm pretty sure I can make a nice drawing of it too also, well, it's kind of rare. Um, they use the, the um, this uh, the name, of the weapon, just like the merchandise from Star Wars. It's kind of rare. It's kind of rare. It's kind of strange too. Okay, that's my very short model. Um, and then I found a longer model in a big grocery, and it looks like this. And well, it's it's a bit longer. Um, also, it lights up. And it works already, and I can change batteries, so got this one about for, for about 5 euros. And it sounds a bit sick, but it has a nice blue color. If I can find my button. This is like a flash light. So it flashes. I like this one. Prefer the style of this hilt, to be honest. And I like the shape of the blade. Sorry, it was an accident. I like the shape of the blade. I think I'll put these ones. I like the vintage lightsabers that I find. Um, these are I prefer the ones who are not uh, do, who don't belong to characters. Um, so that's what I really like about them. Also, the ones that are no Star Wars merchandise are really cheap. And then on the coast, I uh, well, I just find something. I just found something that I really really love. Um, I found this big. Uh, first order backpack. Uh, it's bigger than the one that I used to use for now. Because um, when I got mine a while ago, I just love the red stripes here. And it has all kinds of ships on it and a nice tag. The one that I use is pretty small. And they didn't have bigger ones when I was there. So I'm really glad they have bigger ones in now. I just love the red, the red markings, really. I just love it. Red and black, just so, so stylish. Um, also, it has a nice little stormtrooper on the zipper here somewhere. Uh, I'm looking for it. I can't find it. There it is. Here is one. And, uh, well, the front is with plastic and with Kylo on it, so I really like it so much. And here's the, sim the symbol of the First Order. So it's a really nice looking backpack. Uh, some tie fighters. Really, I love it so much. 
So I decided to get it for my work. I'm probably going to use it tomorrow because I need a bigger, uh, bigger backpack tomorrow. So that's about the backpack. And then uh, one more last thing that I really would like to show you. Uh, like I said today, I was going to my local toy shop to have a look if the new plushies from The Force Awakens were released. And I wasn't so sure they were. But yes, they were new plushies. And there I was hoping to find uh, some of the newer ones. Now, I didn't know which ones they had in. But there, uh, first of all, but maybe I should remove the lightsabers first. Just love these, really. This one is so short. But I'm really glad there are some more vintage lightsabers available. So the very first plushie that I found was this little middle side stormtrooper. Actually, I was hoping to find this little guy. Um, and he's more skinny than TK, my Imperial Stormtrooper. Uh, where is he actually? <laughs> now I got him a little friend. Mr. TK is dressed for Christmas. He's, here he is. He's my Christmas Stormtrooper. And I will make a video comparing these two. Might be interesting. Also because I see some difference in the design. Um, so also the shape of his body is just much more skinny than TK's broad little belly. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I was really happy I found this little guy. That was the very first one. Um, and then also one that I was actually hoping to find was Captain Phasma. Now she's really sturdy actually, she's really good looking and for her they use the same shiny material as the one as the material you can find here on Kylo's mask and it accentuates the the shining on, of her of her um, harness, of her uh, her armor I would say so um, I think she's al also the cape is just so soft and I was really happy they had these middle-sized ones. But I wasn't it. <laughs> After finding these, I came across Big TK! <laughs> now actually, um, also this guy has a very sturdy piece of... Well, I don't know what it is, but he has a very sturdy material in him. Which makes him kind of stiff, um, cuddly and sturdy. Um, now I have kind of a problem because now I have like two middle side stormtroopers and two bigger ones and I couldn't find the distinction of those um, first order stormtroopers. So if you know about what their, the letters of their distinction might be, let me know. Um, all my stormtroopers used to have to be named TK. Um, but I have like no idea for a number and I don't really know what a good name for him would be. Um, so yeah, for, for now I, I guess those guys are nameless. <laughs> so I'm still looking for a nice name. Maybe I can just cho choose a first name for him and that will be it. I'm not sure. And then the last bigger one that I found could have expected her. We need some females here. I found Big Phasma. <laughs> now of course we all those males around. <laughs> we all those males around. She might get lost. However, I'm pretty sure uh, she will make it. Uh, also, she looks really good. Really good. She's really sturdy. She's really well stuffed. And just look at the beautiful armor she has. Um, I believe it's it's a she. I was pretty sure it was a female. Um, and also these bigger ones go for about 30 euros. Um, and what I love is that those plushies are very very well designed. They really have been thinking about good material for them. Kylo has lots of filth on them, but Phasma has like really stuffed pieces of um, polyester material, and they have all kinds of material all over them. Also, the paws here are really, really soft. Uh, the paws, the legs, sorry. I'm used to describe animals. <laughs> and here her cape is just so cute. Look at my cat playing with his mouse. 
wie das Ikea-Maus. Moja! <lacht> so cute. However, she just has such a soft cape and I think you can hang the cape over her shoulder like this to make her look more like the character. I believe she wears her cape on her shoulder like this. I saw her doing that several times. Like this. Somewhat. Well, it's really hard to hold her like this because of the very sturdy piece in her in her neck. So yeah, also the helmet is really big. Yeah. She has a very high head. Her head is really, really long like this. Um, but she's really sturdy, really well made, and I definitely recommend all these plush. So if you love The Force Awakens, if you love Star Wars or these characters, um, I can tell you these, these plush can really be a nice addition to your collection. Make sure to find them. Uh, these are Posh Balls plush, and I guess there are a few on Amazon. I've been uh, having a look, but I don't really know where they are available. So I know they are available in Belgium now. Um, Posh Balls has been doing a nice job on designing these plush. And I really hope you enjoyed the video, because I really did enjoy making my video. And I'll see you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, guys, just guess what? I found out how my lightsaber works. Have a look. It has three colors. It has, like, red, green and blue. It's a Christmas lightsaber! <laughs>